Special delivery. Okay, guys, C and C, Carty and Carty, here, guys, again. And this is the part of this video, guys, which let me show what I did during the break. Well, and this here, guys, is the 150, and this one reads brown, green, red. Brown, green, red. Guys, and this is the 152, and that reads 1.5k ohms. Okay, guys, so this was one missing, and I couldn't find the value of it. So I found out there are one, two, three, four of them are for the, from these transformer, and from this trans, from this MOSFET transformer, it reads to the positive pin on this output so that's why I get to find out and the amplifier only have four of them in, in you know so that's a little way I found it out and so I found I found out what the value is yeah because from here it says R92 R93 and this is R94 and this one over here is R95 these are the same exact resistor so that's all i found it that's an, a good way of finding out resistors too guys not all the time it works but yeah in this case it took me a time before i figure it out so you know that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to put this amplifier all right this nice crisp looking question though amplifier you guys take a look at this beauty i'm telling you this thing looks really 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 good and then this is the back yeah you have it back here is nothing i didn't do anything on this side of the board more than replace the output mosfet which is the b31 and 20d yeah, that's the output we're going to put back one of the original one inside of it. So, yeah, we don't have to worry too much. All right, turn a little far for the power supply. So, I'm going to put this in back into the chassis, guys, and then we move on from there. As you can see, this, I make sure I tape these together so they go back exactly the same way, you know. Right, left, left, right, and, you know right right left right whatever way you know those i take them like that so i can know exactly how to pin plug them on here so i don't mix up the stereo with this amplifier you know all right so guys all right i'm gonna put it back into the chassis and i'll get back to you guys in a couple of minutes Okay, guys, so now I'm going to see if it powers up. Whew. Let's see. Everything seems to be okay. So let me see, guys. And we we'll move on from there. Protection. Power light right here, guys. All right. Let's check this resistor. All right. That's really cool. I'm not going to touch any of this button that he... See, let me see if it's, I get hard here. Because you set this uh, stuff already, I don't want to mess with it too much. So let me try. Uh, right, right. So it should be on channel one. Nothing yet. No audio. Let's see if it turned down or anything. Okay.
turn to the side and see what I'm going to do. Okay. Should be getting something there, and I'm not getting any. So let's know it plays. It wasn't playing before. Oh man. Messing up a little, so let me go check something else. Okay, guys, this is it working. Channel that was working before, and this is all because of this IRS 292S. It's the idea. So I don't shout it out on this one. Two channel. That's four channel.
man that was something else oh man guys all right guys see this is working perfectly so the resistor that's supposed to be here the r94 is uh brown green red and that's 1.5k ohms okay guys please remember that and guys this is our old-fashioned way I used to diagnose what was the problem here because all the other channels work and when I feel them they are warm this one was the only one that's really really cold so I figure more or less something is wrong here with this driver I see that's a little old-fashioned way I used to use back in the days guys to diagnose a lot of stuff which not with only amplifier like television and stuff like that and you know a lot of stuff and so I found out this one was the problem and that's it guys and the funny thing I only have two left I only have two left in my so no I have only one so I'm gonna have to order some like right now so guys this crescendo oh boy I tell you yeah this was one uh, I was and the funny thing the guy for this is he's just Coming in town, he just got coming town like every weekend, and he, you know he dropped out this by me, and he was hoping to get it before I leave, and you know I just thought you know say it's a possibility, and you know but I got three channel up, tell him working perfectly, and then now you know, yeah, finally get it working. So guys, you can see here, yep, crescendo C two thousand point four up and running guys so any question you guys could ask me i answer question as quick as i can whenever i can guys so and that's it for this repair of this question though c2000.4 it's a four channel amplifier so let me show you again that's it carty and carty repair and this is a New, 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 brand new amplifier. It's a new brand amplifier. As I told you before, guys, I have the box right here. The box, paperwork, and everything with this amplifier. But one, you make a wrong connection, and that's you know. He blaming the guy blaming himself though. It was like this, you know. It was like say, keep saying like he's an idiot, you know. I said, man, you know, you know, things happen, but you know, that's how it goes, you know, stuff happens sometimes. But what he said, he said, he know that the car need rewiring, and he still he could connect everything, connect the amplifier up, and there was some loose wire and stuff like that, and that messes everything up, and yeah. So now we have to do everything fresh. So, yeah. So that's it, guys. So. Ah, cardi and cardio for now, guys. And as I said, please like, subscribe if you like what you see, and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this. And guys, yeah, that's the way you appear. Even if you know, you know, I'm trying to bring something new to the channel where you know a lot of people don't can diagnose the problem without you know some people can't read the oscilloscope. Like me, I'm not fully into it as yet, so I use my other way of figuring out stuff and I know a lot of you guys appreciate that enough you know? I want to find out all stuff work without like you know with some simple basic little stuff like I could feel you know and stuff like that check the voltage that's coming to it if it's you know and, you know stuff like that and trace like from a resistor to you know what side you know what I did I checked from one pin of the the drain from the drain to this thing here to find out which channel goes down. I figure out which channel is not working. Then I found out where from this IC to this resistor, which one which one of these MOSFET driver MOSFET IC control, you know, this side. And I figured out this, this one. I thought it was this one at first, but no, it was this one way up here. So I was like, okay, perfect. And then replace it, and all is working well. So that's it. That's it for this video, guys. Everything is working perfectly, and you know. You can pick up the amplifier now. I played enough already. I'm still gonna play some more, and then you know, guys, please like, subscribe if you like what you see, as I said before. And Carty and Carty CNC Electronics out for now. Okay, guys, thank you. I really appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much, guys.
Special delivery